Hello and welcome to episode number 13 of my Just Flying series. Now this is a version of the default aerolite I found on the org that says it has a rocket engine. So let's just give it a handful of throttle and see what happens. Uh, nothing apparently and uh, oh no there we go. Takes a second to spool up. Oh crap what the Jesus uh, no, up, up, up. God, this is twitchy. See, it's really careful with the controls, and we're getting it. Yeah, we're stable. I don't know what that is. Is that the rocket? Uh, I, yeah, my head is on fire. Yeah, I can confirm at this point my head is on fire. Brilliant. Oh, well, let's try and change the viewing position so if we go down a bit and if we go forward as well so we can't see the yoke then we should be underneath where the rocket is uh, yeah that's worked out okay yeah, so having all that flame effect for the entire flight that was going to get very annoying very quickly wasn't it well, actually it's not a bad viewing position this is it closer to the cockpit so you can read all the dials nice nice and easy still a good view it's yeah if I ever use the default one I might try this again uh, not that I do ever use that default aerolite and I think this will probably be the one and only flight in this rocket assisted one I quite like it for its stupidity and it does exactly what it says it's going to do it's it's an aerolite with a rocket on it. But, uh, yeah, if you move your joystick by half the width of a sheet of paper, it's all over the place. It, this is really twitchy to fly, so... <laughs> um, quite good fun in one respect, and no fun whatsoever in another. Uh, yeah, I think this will be the one and only ever flight in this thing. Let me just check on the map. So I've got a map on with the screen which you can't see here. If I click on that, click on the aircraft and we'll say, yeah, 120 knots. Uh, actually nowhere near as fast as I thought it might be. Well not as fast as I was hoping it might be, in all honesty. And yeah, we'll get to Mount Cook fairly quickly. So I can see it there up ahead. Yeah, that's the flight plan today, uh, Glen Tanner, where we took off to Mount Cook, NZMC. And that's it, just by the river up ahead there. Which is a very nice little airfield, actually. It's one that I did a conversion of. Uh, it's an originally an FS9 thing by a guy called Peter Law. I'm just thinking, are we going to slow down in time? So let's just pull the power and see how quickly this does slow down. Oh, very quickly, actually. It bleeds off the speed straight away, doesn't it? That's alright. Put the power back on. Is it going to come back on? Oh, yeah, we got it again. Yeah, it just takes a little while for the engine to spool up and provide you any power. Just had a brief second there of thinking, was this a, a one-shot only jet engine? But no, we're back on. Yeah, this is a very nice little airport, actually. Uh, as I say, well, I think it's, I think that's how you pronounce it. His surname was L O H R. No, Peter Law, probably. My apologies to you if it isn't. Yeah, exchanged a few emails to ask for permission to convert it to X-Plane and yeah, very nice, very helpful guy as well. So. so I'm now just thinking as I was talking, you may have noticed that I'm nowhere near the runway. But if we do get rid of the engine and just get back to normal sort of speeds in this does fly very slowly doesn't it so I think I can land on the apron instead of the runway 
We'll have a little competition and see just how short a distance I need to stop in. Don't actually know the numbers of what speeds I should be flying in this thing, so I'm going to do it a little bit by hand and try to judge when I'm running out of authority on the controls. And if I can get it down to almost stall speed, I'll actually stall it just outside the terminal building. Right, we might be able to stop in just a few feet. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this is getting very sluggish to control now. I think I need a bit more power. And oh crap. Oh god. Yeah, I did need a bit more power, didn't I? It takes a while for that engine to. Uh, oh god, I'm on fire again. Yeah, my head is on fire once again. Has anybody got an extinguisher, please? Hello? Yeah, help. Yeah, yeah my, my head. Yeah, it's on fire. My head is on fire again. Right, so that was uh, just flying episode 13. Glen Tanner to Mount Cook. Which, as I say, is a very nice airfield. And you should get yourself a copy if you haven't got one. So, until next time then. Um, yeah, take care. Try not to set your head on fire and um, try not to invade Ukraine either. Yeah, if you could not do that, that, that would be great. Uh, right, see you soon then. Bye.